What's up? It is Jose here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing the embarrassing story time. I have a lot of embarrassing stories. So. How do I start my story? I don't know. But I'm going with my fifth grade camping story. It's one of my most known embarrassing stories. So when I was in fifth grade, guys, at the end of the year, I decided to go camping with the school. It was a program they did every, for every fifth grader, everybody, you pay like $80 and you get to spend like three days and um, three nights. Three days and three nights? I don't know. So it was my first time ever going out and camping with just random people or so-called friends. It was my first time ever being out there by myself without my parents, without eating Hispanic food, without eating my home food, without eating Good food. I felt awkward. I was expecting it. I've always had this issue, and I'm currently having the issue where my stomach is hurting like a motherfucker. I am sick, and I don't know what's going on. On like my second day there, or I think it was my first night, I don't remember, I ate some steak and corn and some stuff that the camp place was serving for food. And to be honest, it was good. The food was decent, I guess. I don't know. I ate it and went on with my day, whether it was me just playing around on the compass and shit. I was fat. When it came to sleeping at night, um, we all had to shower in this weird um, house thing and yeah, we just had to go all on there. There was curtains and all, all that stuff, so I was good about that because I was for sure as hell not going to show my body to anyone to get judged. What happened to me was I shat my pants. I shitted my pants terribly. Like, there was the corn and there was the steak coming out of my butt. And it was just gross. How did it happen? It happened like at fucking 3 in the morning. My stomach decided to just scream for its life. I felt like there was something just punching the wall in my stomach. Like there was just pain going and I'm like that's how intense my stomach was. Um, my stomach was just getting like bubbly. All I felt was bubbly. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to shit myself. I am going to shit myself. The reason I didn't get to go to the bathroom was because I was in a camp house and the bathroom was up a hill, like all the way to Mama Maya. I don't know what that is. It was far and it was dark and we were in the forest, so I couldn't take a shit. My instructor was asleep and there was nobody who was going to escort a fucking 11 year old to take a shit at night. So what happened? I decided to wrap myself up in a towel. I was like, okay, it's happening. It's going to happen here. I am going to die. I am going to shit myself. I can't hold this anymore. I was smart. I decided to grab a fucking towel. I wrapped it around my waist and butt. So it looked like a fucking diaper. And I just sat there and waited for my death. So yeah, I checked myself. I, it was like pain. It was pain after pain. I remember the punches I was saying. So it was like punch and punch and punch and that punch. On that last punch, I couldn't take it anymore. It was like. <laughs> It came all out. And the worst part was it didn't spread anywhere. It like piled on my back. That wasn't the worst part of it all. The worst part was I sat there until everyone woke up. So when everyone woke up, they all were going to the bathroom, I struck in all that, and then I was just sitting there with shitty booty. Before at all that part, some stupid kid decides to wake up and sit and have a conversation. Oh my god, why? What do you wake up at 3 in the morning and start talking to me? And he's just sitting there talking to me like, Oh, hi, why are you doing that so great? Oh, I had an accident. Let me just mention he was sleeping with a damn monkey. So, shit. This is bad fifth grade story. So he was sitting there with his damn little monkey asking me questions of how, why am I up so early? And I'm just like trying to not tell him that I shit my pants so he wouldn't tell everyone. But anyways, I don't know what I told him exactly. I just know I told him I had an accident 
and I need to talk to the teacher. Well, we waited till everyone woke up. That same exact kid, once that everyone woke up, I told him, bring me the teacher. So he brought me the teacher and I told him, look, I had an accident and I can't get up. So he brings me a bag and he tells me, well, go and change in the bathroom and we will leave these in here, this bag and we can take them home. I have my towel wrapped up around my waist and I'm walking up the hill. I can feel the corn just going down my leg like I'm just like fuck me. I try to run up the hill and get to the bathroom stall and wipe myself all the way. While I'm going up the hill, that kid that was talking to me earlier, all I heard him say in the background, he didn't know I took a shit because I didn't tell him, but he's like, it smells like dog shit in here. <gasps> He said it smelled like dog shit, and my face was like... Fuck. So I hit it, I ran into the stall, I cleaned myself, and then I waited to shower. Um, once I, and I put everything in the bag, and once I got in the shower, I didn't clean myself greatly, I guess. But I saw a damn corn fall on the floor, and it was just going straight to the next person and next to me, and I was like... Thank God he did not notice the corn. I showered, I got dressed, I put the bag over there, and we were all done with that part. And that's my embarrassing story of shitting myself. So I shat myself in fifth grade. And that is all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my embarrassing story of taking a shit on myself while I was in camp. Um, if you like my video, remember to give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe for more future videos with me. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. Woo. Hey guys, what's up? It is Jose here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is story time. So the other day I was at the gym 